Hi. Hi. So please introduce yourself. Hi. My name is Max Kaliada. Uh, I'm from Ukraine, but I lived uh, in Switzerland and in Latvia at the moment. So uh, I work as a business development for d uh, head of business development. And we're here to introduce our project to the European market in general and to raise funding for our seed round. So AI, medical data, Bank. Um, it's, it's, it's crucial to have good use of people's medical data, otherwise it's kind of like lost into the either. You want to be... So for us, we're it? one of its kind medical data bank. So what we allow is for our users to claim ownership of their data. So that's the first step. Once they claim the ownership, they can access the data from anywhere around the world just at their fingertips on any device. The system itself functions on blockchain, which provides the privacy and security for the data. So uh, this also allows for us to access the functionality of transferring that data and selling that data <laughs> into uh, the uh, data health and ecosystem. So at the current stage, I don't know how much you're familiar with it, but uh, the ecosystem of data in, in medicine especially is quite fragmented, where there's a lot of intermediaries and uh, brokers that are involved in the actual sale process and the uh, process from getting the data from the patients to the research institutions. So what we are enabling to do is for patients to sell their own information and keep their own information themselves to the institutions directly providing cheaper, better, and more accurate information for research and drug development. So if you go from one uh, physician to the next, you can bring your data? Easily, you will have it at your fingertips, or you can s save it and share it with your physician. In addition, the physician, the new one that you will go with, will be able to upload the new test results and new information to your profile, which is called your medical ID. So the medical ID sort of acts like your passport, which tracks and keeps all of your information in one place for you no matter where you go, which country, or which doctor you see. All of it is being stored in one platform. Uh, do you show your platform right here? Yes, of course. So, uh, you can also find this, this video on YouTube as well. <laughs> but, uh, as, I'm, as I'm mentioning, in the very center is a client. We connect clients as data owners to the data suppliers, clinics, and other medical institutions which keep data and store data to the data consumers, which are the research institutions that I mentioned. All of it runs on our internal blockchain, which functions on dHealth tokens, which are DHLT tokens. So uh, at the core of our system is still our user. User is a private individual that can access our system through anywhere around the world. Uh, it can be done in a few clicks. The user will have access to their data profile, which consists of three types of data. Personal data, medical data, and lifestyle data. So all of these three uh, pieces of information are recorded separately in the blockchain and are only recognized by the system, providing full privacy and visibility of the information to the user. Once the user is regist registered, they can access all of the functionalities of the system and uh, up access all the medical history as well as other participants through our DHLT token. Once the profile is created, they'll all have the back end which have their medical card. They'll have uh, additional benefits like uh, winning of competitions, awards, other status updates, and they can passively uh, gain income within our system. Further, uh, the system provides benefits in terms of DHLT tokens, which could be exchanged either for other services or goods or for other crypto and fiat currencies within the system. So that's a short introduction for you. Is it possible to do that without using crypto? At the moment, there have been a few attempts to do this outside of, it's not even crypto, it's more about blockchain, right? Um, Crypto is just simplicity for finance. Blockchain itself is decentralization and depersonalization yeah. of information. So uh, it would not be possible to do this with the current uh, security standards to do this outside of blockchain. Since blockchain is at the end something that provides the privacy, flexibility, and the resources needed for these types of transactions to take place under the current uh, legislative infrastructure, of course. You couldn't just uh, use uh, AWS or Google Cloud or something uh, and be fine with it? You could use it to store data. 
However, if you want to access it from anywhere around the world and transact with the data, you cannot do this because due to GDPR compliance, you have to store the data and access the data only in the country where it's been procured. Otherwise, it gets uh, too risky to transact. So what blockchain does is actually allows users to attach their information while it's being stored in a different region through the hash uh, capabilities and smart contracts. it's completely unhackable. Well, Nobody will read your data. It's impossible since the only entity that can access this information is the system itself. It runs on Ethereum and the Ethereum security protocols is probably better than any AWS or Azure protocols you can find. So what is your plan right now? Are you um, uh, looking for investors or are you launching? Or? Yeah, so we already launched six months ago with our decentralized application. Uh, in six months period, we already gained 70,000 users actually, organically. And right now we're in a seed round where we're raising four million for development of the application to become more scalable and to develop a better client and so that the companies like Novartis and LaRoche could access and purchase information seamlessly. There's a lot of talk of blockchain, but it's hard to see a use case where it's really huge already, right? Uh, I wouldn't say so. All the banking infrastructure runs on blockchain. If you uh, really, they use blockchain. Almost everything. Yeah. Uh, if you've been paying attention, all of the banking has increased in speed. Right. You probably noticed it from uh, sending a money and you receive it within three minutes. This whole process has been streamlined by blockchain. Uh, logistics are almost all running on blockchain right now as well, where people can track exact the location of their packages. So these industries already have been revolutionized forever. I they were just talking about it. I didn't know they were actually using it. Well, uh, I thought they were just using uh, centralized uh, cloud and stuff right now. Uh, it helps record and transact faster and cheaper. So it has been integrated into even Swiss banking ecosystem years back. So uh, it does provide the security necessary for that types of transaction and transfer of data without need for intermediaries to be there. Uh, of course, there is also other cases where uh, blockchain has been tried to be incorporated in the industry. However, in the medical industry, it seems like it's the best solution due to the privacy concerns and the uh, nature of the data. So. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. you.